My name is Jonathan Barrick. I'm the director of the Stanford Women's Cancer Center. We welcome you to the center and we look forward to offering our services to you. We're going to give you information about ovarian cancer and related diseases, how we initially diagnose it, stage it, monitor it, and treat it. Having cancer is very frightening, but our job is to help you get through it and get to the point where you are getting the best possible chance of a positive outcome and optimistically be free of disease. It's important to understand that while we may throw out the word ovarian cancer, I don't want you to be confused if you had also heard fallopian tube cancer or peritoneal cancer. We treat them the same way. The fallopian tubes are the ends of the uterus. I like to describe them as little arms off of the uterus and there's little fingers near the ovaries that collect the eggs back when you were ovulating. And the tips, those fimbria, those tips of the fallopian tube, can also generate a cancer that behaves just like ovarian cancer. And the peritoneum, I like to describe it as saran wrap. It lines your entire abdominal cavity. It coats many of the organs in the abdominal cavity. And all of the cells that make up of that saran wrap can turn into a cancer or can collect cancer from an ovary or elsewhere. The most common ovarian cancer that we see is something called epithelial ovarian cancer. Those women tend to be postmenopausal in their 50s and 60s at the time of their diagnosis. We have seen extremes in diagnosis, very young women, much older women, but most commonly women are in their 50s and 60s at the time of diagnosis for the most common kind of ovarian cancer. When we talk about staging with regard to ovarian cancer, that word may mean a couple of different things. We use the word stage to describe where a cancer is located. In other words, a cancer of almost any type that is confined to where it started at the time of diagnosis is a stage one. As that cancer spreads to other places in the body, the stage number increases. It's always on the scale from one to four. So stage one is a cancer that is confined to where it started. A stage four cancer has spread to a number of different places in the body. That information helps guide treatment decisions and choices for women over the course of their care. Most women who come to us with ovarian cancer have at least a stage three ovarian cancer. CA125 is something we call a tumor marker. And in this situation, it means that ovarian cancer produces a protein that we call CA125. And that protein can be measured in your blood. Most of them will have an elevated level of the protein CA125 in their blood. That's a result of the tumor cells producing that protein. When we can measure it in the blood, that gives us a tool that we can use to measure how well the treatment is going. As we remove the cancer cells, we see that number go down. As we administer chemotherapy, we see that number go down even further. We can also use that number in the future when someone's done with their treatment and they progress to what we call the surveillance portion of their care. In that period of time, we are monitoring patients for recurrence. And part of that monitoring is checking blood levels of the CA125 so that if it goes from being nice and low and normal and then increases, that's a flag for us to investigate further. There is a newer tumor marker that we call HE4, which in function is a very similar kind of tool. So it's possible to have a stage three ovarian cancer and a normal CA125. In those circumstances, the HE4 may be elevated, in which case the HE4 becomes a really helpful tool for measuring response to disease over time and for helping us detect recurrence in the future. So we're pleased we have the opportunity to take care of you at the Stanford Women's Cancer Center. 
And in addition to this discussion, we have other discussions that are available to you to give you much more information about your treatment, about the disease, and other aspects of your care here at Stanford. We're here to help you. We want to do everything we can to ensure a positive outcome.